You can't just throw dollars at the problem. You have to invest in approaches that will actually move the needle. In Muskogee, Oklahoma, we're not investing in programs, we're investing in people. The City of Muskogee Foundation looked at what worked in other communities, and based on that research, they agreed to fund a five-year program based on Bridges Out of Poverty constructs and the Getting Ahead curriculum. We launched a community-wide initiative in November 2011, and we learned one powerful lesson. If you move an entire community, you will move the needle. We've done that in Muskogee. People talk about results in terms of measurements, and they naturally look for the numbers. We have these. A total of 89 graduates have completed the Getting Ahead program. We have an 83% graduation rate. 54% have increased their incomes, 57% have reduced their debt, 56 have enrolled in higher education or completed GEDs, 64% have opened a check in or savings account. But the real story is much more. It's about starting a movement. We reached out to a cross-section of our community and engaged folks from every corner of Muskogee. We had pastors, business leaders, the library, uh, health department and public school representatives, healthcare professionals, colleges, workforce development board and felon reentry organizations, uh, city council members, the mayor and citizen volunteers. Uh, Bridges workshops were held for 120 community leaders and initiative support personnel. Getting ahead facilitators were identified and they were trained. While we typically think of moving the needle in terms of numbers, it's really about people. It's about lives. 54% have increased their incomes. That's great. But think how that impacts individual lives. Let's take Marvin, a middle-aged man who worked hard all his life but was just getting by. Now he's getting ahead. He went from an $8.50 an hour labor job to a job paying $15 an hour after turning down an $18 an hour job. Why do you do that? Well, that job required a 40 mile one way commute. With the learning he received from getting ahead and the relationships to talk it through, he realized that the less paying job close to home was the better choice. He'd save more money by the end of the year. That's the power of getting ahead and bridges communities. It's about empowered and critical thinking and others who will help you work those things out. If you take the 56% that have enrolled in higher education or completed GED, look at that result. What does that signify for a single mother trying to work her way out of poverty with two jobs? Thanks to Bridges and Getting Ahead, she got the tools to make thoughtful decisions about budgets, cutting expenses, etc. And with the help of her relationships, she went back to school, made the dean's list, and got a degree in social services. Now she has a better, more fulfilling, and better paying job, and she even recently received an Employee of the Year award. She's given back to the community through her job and her involvement in Bridges. It's the power of those relationships between individuals, among the larger community, between organizations and institutions, that's the secret. When we moved our community, that's when we started moving the needle. And we're still moving. With added momentum in Muskogee and a statewide Bridges Initiative sponsored by the Salvation Army. This year, we'll deliver a Spanish language getting ahead class and a felon reentry class on top of our regular getting ahead program. <laughs>